I know that this isn't regularly like one of my regular videos that I usually do because they're all like, yeah, funny. Oh my, look at this. Yo, look at this funny clip I just made, bro. I mean, like, I just feel like when it comes to just like something that I really love to really talk about and also just like, like talk to my friends about doing all this kind of stuff, you know, doing Wisco Wrestling, you know what that is? Stay tuned. Subscribe to the Wisco Wrestling channel, by the way, if you're interested, link in the description. It's just, it's very hard for it to go unnoticed without really trying your best i mean i yeah i mean if you don't know me i absolutely love professional wrestling it is one of my most favorite things about this earth that i live on but it's just like like the one thing that i really can't gloss by is the amount of social media hate inside of replies instead of replies of replies of people either try to give like you know some sort of gratitude to a wrestler, to an event, to a specific company of a professional wrestling whole thing. I think I'm about, I don't even know, dude. I'm getting so, it's more so just annoying, honestly. Like I go over, I go to a WWE like Instagram post and they're talking about, oh, hey, um, we just want to let you know this is happening on Monday Night Raw. Here's a cool graphic. And I'm like, oh, cool. Let me see what the comments are like. Cause maybe, maybe they will be like, you know, they'll act the same as I do and be like, yo, that's so cool, man. Can't wait for the match. Yo, I can't believe that guy's wrestling tonight. He's my favorite. But no, you know what happens? I go over there and I see stuff like this. Yeah. 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 I don't even know what else to really say. I mean, especially not only this. Like, this isn't like the only thing that's really making all of this go ballistic for me. I, I mean, specifically, I'm gonna be honest. I thought that like I, I thought that everything was like, you know, sunshine and roses. But apparently when you go over to social media, especially on that one app. It's a blessing and a curse in, in disguise. I mean, all we can say is just hope that everything goes well. Everybody has fun with each other. I mean, that's all professional wrestling is, having fun. But a lot of people go ahead and be like, no, nah, man, you don't know this. You, you know, well, why didn't he sell that well? Bro, who made that decision? Like, they, they think that they know the business. But in reality, it's just enjoy it. The one thing why I love professional wrestling is because I enjoyed it. When I was a kid, I didn't think about storylines as much. I didn't think about their performances inside of promos. Let me do this again. Oh, it's live, pal. All I loved was just one guy beating up another guy or a woman beating up another woman, mainly just to solve controversies. That's the main reason why I love professional wrestling. Same thing why I still love it. It's so ridiculous and so fun that it's just the open door is always going to be open when it comes to how pro wrestling is really done. And I think social media somewhat kind of barricades it in a certain way. Because, I mean, yeah, it's a good way to really publicize your, your company, a good way to publicize matches happening during this, like, a specific time or date. But, I mean, if something wrong happens in the show, what's going to happen? Obviously, there's going to be someone... Yo, did you see this botch, bro? Oh my goodness. It's a dude, YouTube is a whole other thing, bro. Like when I go to a to a video, let's say of like an AEW video, right? I go under there, I see, oh, let me see Sting um doing something or like Edge or Adam Copeland, you know what I mean? Going instead of AEW and doing something. Uh, you know what happens? Um, I I see. Oh, there you go. All elderly wrestling. There you go. All these old men thinking they're still playing wrestling. Hadoo! They're saying this as if they don't have CM Punk, or Randy Orton, or The Rock still over there. Like, yes, they are great. But so is Adam Copeland, man. So is Christian Cage. Like, who cares if these guys are old? They're still going. And why don't we just enjoy the time we have with them left? We all wish that they could come back like Edge. People wish that he didn't retire, but he had a very good reason to. There was just nothing else for him to do. He's already accomplished everything. He's accomplished what he thought was like satisfactory to himself. And I don't even have to speak for the guy. I mean, he said it himself. It just goes to show how social media can really just tarnish pro wrestling as a whole. And it's been tough to really like it as of late. Because of it, it's honestly just mind-boggling. Uh, I just, I don't even know what else to say. I just wanted to talk about this. It's honestly just incredible how much people would really go and just make a whole comment. Like, I was scrolling through Instagram. I saw a Samantha Urban post, her reaction to, like, The Rock coming back. She went ballistic. I go to the comments section, like, yo, 
this woman don't like why is she even an announcer her voice ain't even that deep which means she won't get that frequency to make fans go like <sighs> why 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 would you like it's her reacting to the rock the dude who revealed the og xbox of course she's gonna go ballistic to like the rock coming back to wwe after so long but you're just gonna talk about her announcing skills over a reaction to literally the pie eating trailblazing eyebrow raising and then luckily you know instead of the re reply of the reply of the reply um people started to back her up they're like yo is there really any reason to do this any reason and people like back the dude up they back up and also like the person who replied that also was like saying his point and he's saying it as if he didn't really mean anything like as in oh hey bro i don't mean to cause no confrontation well if you're gonna post something like that or you have to think about it at least first like you think giving some criticism underneath a reaction of the rock is gonna like no come on maybe if she was like asking for criticism or well again like i don't know her you know like i have no idea she's she's with the uh, you know my boy ricochet you gotta love that guy by the way number one underrated wrestler inside of wwe by the way mr one and only mr bald-headed why you <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i didn't mean it. i didn't mean it. I didn't... why are you bald why are you ugly but anyways um i just i just want to say i just hope that this gets better and doesn't get worse i really hope that social media can become something that all pro wrestling companies can use but anyways i just hope that everything goes well i hope that you watching this i can't believe you stayed until the end of the video but anyways thanks for watching drink plenty of water i'll see you next time Bye bye Are you ugly?